Praise Yahweh Almighty. Praise Yahweh. Yahweh bless everybody in the universe. I hope you are celebrating this wonderful day of Shabbat. It is a wonderful day to be here with you all. And may Yahweh bless you, protect you, and be with every one of you. In Yeshua's mighty name. Our brothers and sisters, I have a, a call, so bear with me. Today we're going to be reading the book of Luke and the King and the, the book of Yahweh Virgin. So you can have an idea of this book, how really it gets to the closest to what I feel is the original. And I hope you enjoy this book and this reading with us. So we're going to pray. Right now, I am your brother, Yaakov. May Yahweh bless you all. In Yeshua's mighty, mighty name. Hallelujah. So we pray. Father Yahweh. Father Yahweh. We come before you. We come before you. In Yeshua's mighty name. In Yeshua's mighty name. Begging you for mercy and love. <laughs> begging you for mercy and love. And begging you for for healing, begging you for healing for everybody in the universe, Father. For everybody Yahweh. in the universe, Father Yahweh. Please, Father Yahweh. Please, Father Yahweh. For my homes, for my homes, money, jobs, money, jobs, business opportunity, business opportunity, and government help, and government help to everybody, Father Yahweh. To everyone. Father. Please, Father Yahweh, stop the war in Ukraine. Please Father. stop the war in Ukraine, Father Yahweh. Please stop the war in the Middle East. Please stop the war in the Middle East. Let there be peace in the Middle East. Let there be peace in the Middle East. Please protect us from you know who. Please protect us from you know who. And all his cronies. And all his cronies. And everybody that's trying to destroy America. And those who are trying to destroy America. I beg you for 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 you to give our uh, mercy and power. Thank you for mercy and power. For the people of the Philippines. For people in the Philippines. Which are going to trauma with the Chinese right now. Which are going to trauma in with Chinese Father Yahweh. Deal with the Chinese Father Yahweh. Deal with the Chinese Father Yahweh. And deal with the Russians. And deal with the Russians. And let there be peace. And let there be peace. And understanding. And understanding. And take them attitude of I want we want to take over the world attitude from and them. take the where take the the what? Attitude take I the, want to take over the world. Take attitude. the attitude out of out of out of what? Out of them? Out of them. Father. Take out take over the world attitude. Yeah, take over the world attitude. Yes, Father Yahweh. Yes, Father. Father Yahweh. Father Yahweh. Let open our minds to your understanding. Let there be let open our open mind our minds to your understanding and not the world and not the world we are here to serve you we're here to serve you to love you to love you and to seek your life and to seek your life and please teach me teach, teach us teach us what we must teach uh, the we, people father yahweh what we must be teaching about father i beg you in yeshua's name i beg you in yeshua's name hear our prayer Hallelujah. Yeah, prayer. Hallelujah. All right, brothers and sisters. So we're going to go to Luke chapter 1, verse 1. This has 50, if I'm not mistaken, 50 verses to have fun with. Not even 70. Yay. Mm. 80. No. Fun time, fun time. Praise Yahweh. All right. Sister. Okay, what did I read up to? Well, we'll see. We'll get there. Uh, let's start out with the first. Uh, let's start out with the first. 14 verses. Alright. We read the word in the name of the Father Yahweh. We read the word in the name of the Father Yahweh. In the name of your Son Yeshua. In the name of your Son Yeshua. In the name of your Holy Spirit Holiness. In the name of your Holy Spirit Holiness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lucas, the beloved physician. Yes. Since, since many have under 
taken to arrange and order narrative of the events that that have come to fulfillment among us. Just as they have as they were handed down to us us by those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word and the law and the prophets. I also have decided after having um, diligently um, searched and accurately traced the course from the from the very first to write to you in order orderly accounts in order that you might be strengthened brothers in Yahweh so that you may know the sure the sure validity reality reliability of the of the um get out of there instructions you have received Yashinan's birth announcement to Zechariah. In the days of Herod, king of Jada, there was there was a certain priest named Zechariah in the court of Abia, and his wife um, was the daughters of Aaron, Aaron. Aaron. And her name was Elizabeth. They were, they were both righteous before Yahweh, blame, blamelessly walking in all the way, all the laws and ordinance of ordinance of Yahweh. But they had no children, for Elizabeth was barren, and both were well along. Um, in their years, since while Zechariah was executing the priest, priest um, often office before Yahweh, during the turn of his of this of his priestly course, he was chosen by lots, according to the custom of, of the priest to enter the holy um, place of the house of Yahweh and burn incense and the holy multitude of the people were praying outside at the time of the incense um, offer, offering then a lack of Yahweh appeared to him there they're standing at the right of the altar of incense okay um the correct word will be my lot a lot of people use the word angel which is actually messenger of El God and Yahweh is not a God my lack of Yah is a, a messenger of Yahweh a malak is a messenger, but that always comes from Yahweh. That's a proper term, proper name. Go ahead. Okay. Now when Zechariah saw him, he was alarmed. Alarmed. And fear fell upon him. But the malak said to him, Do not be afraid of Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will call him. His name was a Zechariah. Yahweh is merciful. Zechariah. Ah, Yashanan, sorry, Yashanan. <laughs> his name should be Yashanan. Yeah, Yashanan. Yahweh is merciful. That's what Yahweh is merciful. Do you understand? A lot of these names have meaning. In Hebrew, a lot of these names, most names have a meaning. And so when you put John, that has no meaning that we know, right? But when you put Yashima, it has a meaning. Because the Hebrew, they usually, it was always Y-A-H, 
or depending on the group, they will use a white OH, right? Or they will use a white L in the end, and that will that will um yeah. All right. So. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. Hallelujah. Yes, and he will be great in the sign sight of Yahweh, and will ne will drink neither wine, neither drunk, neither strong lick, uh, strong drinks for drinking, for he will be full with the spirit of Yahweh, even from his mother's womb. So. But this is the announcement. Yahweh always does things in, in sets. So like he'll do something and then get something else. So the whole setup could be connected. So uh, Zechariah was a priest. They had turns. There was 24. Uh, they had 24 priests and they each one uh, would do two weeks. Of service so as such they were the two weeks and and all fell depending and this time Zachariah's service was in June we know that because John King David set up a system where they um, with the minister with the high priest at that time so everybody could get a term so the house of Yahweh could always have his priest you understand and so this was Zachariah's turn to do this part. Now, if you know anything about this, uh, most people do. But if you don't, because a lot of us don't know uh, a certain thing, uh, this was to prepare the way of Messiah. So Zachariah, he was older. She was older. Yeah, it was very pretty much impossible through the norm to have a baby to make a baby or anything like that because they were already past their age but they were safe for a time like this and and as such uh, the Malak of Yahweh gave him which it was Gabriel if I'm not mistaken on this one gave him the good, gave the good news what was gonna happen so he gave them this information because there is a purpose. This is the beginning setup, the time, the date. So our future events, as we learn throughout history, what it meant, and basically have an idea of what the Messiah was born, which was not December twenty fifth at all. And so, as such, this is uh, the setup of that beginning. Of, uh, of what you call it, of the Messiah, but you have to set up, set it up in the beginning from here. And then 16, and he will turn many of the children of Israel to Yahweh and their father. Yah, 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 Mercer, right? The people called John the Baptist. He would pretty much baptize the people. Out of this said, right? He will baptize, uh, you are clean, so and so. And he will go before him, before him, and the spirit and the power of Elijah. Elijah was one of the uh, one of the prophets that he didn't see death when he died, when he when he was taken by Yahweh. He was taken up whoop, express. So he never saw death. So, oh, so, saw, so he was like the man, the angel. The no, no. Oh. Uh, Elijah was a prophet. But he was okay. so close to Yahweh. Yahweh loved him so much that when he said, I want to go, Father Yahweh, he goes, fine. Let's get another person to take your place. And when the time comes, you're gonna, I'm going to go get you. Mm -hmm. Pretty much like that. That's what happened. He didn't die. He didn't get killed or anything like that. So he's, that's why it says he will have uh, the spirit and the power of Elijah. 
which uh, significant the strength of Yahweh. That's what the what it actually means. Elijah means the strength of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean Yahweh is God or anything like that because they got they started with the E L giving glory to Elohim. They did that in Yeshua's name, but it starts with a Y L I strength of Yahweh, and then it's got the Y A H. To turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and to turn the disobedient to the understanding of the just. To make ready a people prepared for Yahweh. So he's getting the people ready. This is his job is going to be to get the people ready for the coming of the Messiah. Okay. But Zechariah said, <laughs> you know, Sometimes he would say, oh, well, you know, uh, what did he say? What did he doubt? Think, think about it. You're maybe, what, what, 70, 80 years old. Your wife is about that age. Those years burying baby years are over, <laughs> right? And the only way that's going to happen is through the power of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's no other way. But Zechariah said to the Malak, how would... I know that this is so, for I am an old man, and my wife is well advanced in years. She's an old lady, that's what he's trying to say. But the Malak answered and said to her, answering, and said to him, I am Gabriel, there it is, who stands in the presence of Yahweh. Oh my word, imagine that, right? Mm -hmm. So you've been chosen by Yahweh, your wife been chosen by Yahweh, because the way you are, you are the perfect vehicle uh, of uh, bringing this child to Yahweh and to the world to do his part in the kingdom of Yahweh. And so uh, he's letting him know, hey, I'm, I, I'm with the Father all the time. I'm in the presence of Yahweh. And if I'm here, it's because Yahweh sent me. Mm -hmm. And have been sent to speak to you, to show you the glad tidings. So in other words, Yahweh sent him to, um, to bring this news. Because John the Baptist had to be born before Yeshua. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And he was born six months before Yeshua. Sorry, people. Ah, so, so behold, you will become mute. This is what the Malak of Yahweh said, Gabriel. And unable to speak until the to these things take place, because you have not believed my words, which will be fulfilled in their own time. Right there, having a doubt, you are going to get become mute because you did not believe me. Now, Gary had that power. Uh, Zechariah was like, this is impossible. How do I know this is true? Because Yahweh makes it true. If I, if I get my lock talking to me, mm -hmm. my, um, the lack of Yahweh, it's like, I'm going to believe it. Messiah, I'm going to believe it. I'm not going to doubt. Of course, we get scared in the beginning, right? It's such yeah. power. But we don't understand these, these Malachs and, and Messiah. They got power. So when you see them, you become like numb. Because there is such power and they're so bright. And we're not used to that power. We're fragile um, uh, beings. So as such, we get frightened. That's why he was frightened. That's why he said, do not be frightened. Okay. So, everything's going to be fulfilled in this time. And you're not going to be able to speak. So, you're like, and the people waited for Zechariah and wondered why he lingered so long in the holy place. And when he came out, he could not, could not speak to them. 
and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the house of Yahweh. That's what it was called, the house of Yahweh. For he made signs to them, but remained speechless. Then, as soon as the days of his service were finished, he went to his own house. And it was after those days that his wife Elizabeth conceived. Wow. Incredible. And remain. <coughs> Oh, thank you. So she um, she remained in solitude, in other words, separate, for five moons, which is five months. There, this this is what Yahweh had done for me. Now that he has that he has pleased him to take away the humidity. The, the, the humiliation. The humiliation. I suffer among men. Uh, in those days, if you cannot produce a baby, people used to think it was because you were a sinner. Automatically, you were a sinner and you were not, uh, you were not worthy to have a baby. And the people all around you looked at you. Um, with a negative eye, right? They like, mm. and so she was so um, embarrassed her whole life because she could not produce an heir. The main thing that you want to produce when you have a wife in those days is a baby for your husband and for you. Boy, or girl, mainly a boy. You know, the first one a boy and then girl, whatever. And. And for her, her case was really bad because she was already older and still had no kids. But when she was conceived, when she was pregnant, she was all happy. And all that, all that embarrassment went out the window. So she was like, and it was for a moment like this because she had to bring Yashanai, the immersive, into the world. And Yahshua and I had a big part of us knowing when Yeshua was uh, was was not only um, conceived and also born, and he had to prepare the way because he had to announce it to everybody. One is coming greater than I, to whose feet I am not worthy to tie the shoes, the laces on my tie, I'm worthy to tie. So this was very, very important uh, to, to Yahweh. And then 26, Yeshua's birth announced to Miriam. Then in the sixth month, this one was Elizabeth was six months old, six moon, the Malach Gabriel was sent from Yahweh. See, Yahweh is doing this. And to the city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin bestowed to a man named Yasa, a descendant of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Miriam. She was also connected to the bloodline of King David because remember, the baby was not going to be from Yasa. Yasu was the caretaker of making sure the baby was right. And they had, you know, Yahweh going to put something, somebody from the bloodline of King David. But the one that was going to have the baby had to be in the bloodline of King David. Because if it was not, the Messiah could not be born. He had to 
the bloodline had to be followed. Yeshua, Yahweh said it, from your blood, from your bloodline, from your body, depending on what scripture you read, the Messiah must come. That's a fact. And as such, that's why she was picked. But she was picked because she was a very perfect um, child in the sense that she served Yahweh. Um, and so her name was Miriam. And the Malak entered and said to her, Rejoice, highly honor one. Highly honor one. Wow, that's a big word. Yahweh is with you. Blessed are you among women. So right there, he's just letting her know you are special, very special, very important. To me? The, yeah, Sorry, uh, brother. Yes, sister. Um, you're going to read at the 28, and then I read, I read like that, huh? Mm, yeah. It depends, okay? I might go a little more, okay? Oh, okay. Uh, or you can read and then I'll, I'll explain. Oh, yeah, that's 28. So what did you say? Because we're 28, 20, we're um, 16 yeah. verses. So, yeah. So, and then so Yahweh is with you. Blessed are you among women. So she was so special to Father Yahweh. That out of all the people in the world, she was the only one good enough to bring the Messiah. Because there is a book that was, I think was connected to Matthew. And they took it out. They separated and they came out uh, like uh, the last books of the of the scriptures. But the one, you know, there's other books out there, but the one. And they talk about Miriam. It really sounds like the same writer of Matthew. And, and as such, it announces how her mother and father could not have babies. And how they were such perfect people. You know, they were people that really did a lot for the kingdom. They gave to the kingdom, they gave to the poor, and they kept so much for themselves. And how that they became the father of Miriam, and how um, she gave the baby, like she made a promise. I haven't read it for a while, I'm gonna have to read it. And that she said that uh, the mother said that the baby will become, once she weaned off, the baby is weaned off, she will bring it to the house of Yahweh. So the, that was the thing, you know, they, they would do, people would do things like that here and there. And you go over there, you do the services, you pray, uh, you might have to clean up, whatever it is, you learn to become part of that. And it was an honor. And so as such, a Mary was given to the house of Yahweh at a young age. And so she served Yahweh her whole life. So she must have had a, a perfect heart in a way that she knew how to rebuke all negatives and, and stay in prayer. And we don't know if Yahweh used to give her visions because we don't have that part right there. But if, if I was a um, guessing man, I would think, yes, she would give visions, she would give dreams. I know something was going on because she, had, she was that special. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, you want to start at 29? 29 to where? Uh, 29 to 33. Okay. And when she saw him, she was alarmed at his saying. And she thought about what manner of greeting this was. 31, 33, you said? No, I mean, I'm sorry. That would be to 43. 43, okay. Then the Malak said to her, Do not be afraid, Miriam, for you have found honor with Yahweh. Now, right there. You have found honor. You know what that is? To, what the Yahweh says, Gabriel, which was one of the big Malakins, right? Like, you were 
you know, it's like the army. You got the, the biggest, and then you got the regular. So he was a big one. And for him to um, to say, I, you have found honor in the sight of Yahweh, it's a big deal. That lady had to be straight up on, a very, very, very good lady in the sense of all her deeds. All right. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a child, a son, and will call his name Joshua. He will be great and will be called the son of Yahweh. And Father Yahweh will give him the throne of his father David. Now, why did it say of his father David? Was David really his father? No. no. See, Hebrew, you gotta do. You, you gotta know how to play with those words. That means of the bloodline. Mm. You understand? Know if it, if if the baby, or I mean her, if she was not of the bloodline of King David, guess what? She would not be the one bringing that baby forth. She had to be the bloodline, and that's why I said, and his father from his father David, because of the bloodline. All right. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. Yeah, Jacob. Mm -hmm. And of his kingship, there will be no end. Um, then now, Mary, um, that's very important. Remember, this happened over 2,000 years ago. Do we still celebrate Yeshua? Definitely. It's never going to be over. We will always have Yeshua and Yahweh in our life. And we are blessed and lucky because we have them. All right. Then Miriam said to my Lord, How can this be? Since I have no relations with uh, relations with a man. And the Malak answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of Yahweh will overshadow you. Therefore, also, that holy child uh, who is to be born will be called the son of Yahweh. Now, Gabriel punished Zechariah for doubting, right? Why he didn't punish Miriam? Yeah. Why he didn't punish Miriam? Did we think about that? Yeah, what were you there for? Because she died too, right? You know, how can it be? Mary was a very young lady. She was a young woman. Mm -hmm. In her mind, there's only one way you can have babies. So she was not, she was like, how is this even possible? Mm -hmm. I never been with a man. So her, her innocence is what saved her. Because he got himself. For that, you're not going to speak either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or whatever. But she, he had a, uh, she was, um, she was, her youngness, not understanding the announcement that she could produce our Savior. That was a big deal. Remember, she was bestowed. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, fiancé or to be married. Even when you got married, sometimes you, uh, you can wait up to a year before you have a relationship with your husband in the old Hebrew ways. That's why it's important to understand these things. Okay. And the Malak answered and said to her, you, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of Yahweh will overshadow you. Therefore also the Holy Child uh, who is to be born will be called Son of Yahweh. Son of Yahweh. Now, behold, your cousin Elizabeth has also conceived son in her old age, and this and this is the sixth moon for her too. I mean, who has been called barren. For for with. Yahweh, nothing will be impossible. Do you guys believe that? I believe with Yahweh, there's mm -hmm. nothing impossible. Yeah. If you're 100 years old and Yahweh says you want to produce a baby, guess what? You're going to have a baby. Mm -hmm. Because he is the creator and maker of everything. Mm -hmm. There's nothing impossible for Yahweh. Then Miriam said, 
Behold, the handmaiden of Yahweh, let it be with me as um, you say. And the Malak departed from her. So, right there, she took it all in. She accepted it. And she said, hey, whatever Yahweh wants with me, I'm going to be, I'm going to put it. I'll be available for that. So she, after he explained, she took it in and she goes, I'll do whatever he, he wants me to do. Because at the end of the day, I am his servant. And we are all his servant, right? Mm -hmm. We are his servant. We believe in him. We are guided by the light, right? We want to be with Yahweh. And very important. Now you are on verse what? Um, 39. 39, right? Give it give me a minute there. All right. Okay, go ahead. Okay. It says Maria visits Elizabeth. For in those in those days Maria arose and went into the hill country with haste into the city of Yara. Yara. That's what the word called Judah. But Yara because it had Yahweh's name in there. He who, uh, I think, uh, I will praise Yahweh, something like that. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. Okay. Uh, into the hot country with haste, into the city of Gada. You're and, 40. Yeah. And entered into the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And it, was, it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the, the, um, Heard the greens of Miriam, the babe, leaped her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with Holy Spirit. What did y'all? What did uh, Gabriel say to Elizabeth? He will be filled with the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And as soon as Mary went over there, the baby leaped, and guess what? Elizabeth received the Holy Spirit at that moment. What does leap mean, like? He jumped. The baby jumped. Oh. Yeah, it's in the stomach. Oh yeah, because it moves a lot, yeah. Right, so it's <laughs> in the stomach, and when he heard the voice, here comes here's a, a, the at that time, uh, she was just pregnant. She was just conceived. Right. Right. Uh, so by the by 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 her coming in, because mm -hmm. she's a chosen one of Yahweh. If she had the seed of Yahweh, the spirit of Yahweh, when it, when it heard the voice, it leaped because the pre, you're in the presence of the king, right? Uh, our right. savior. Mm -hmm. And she received the Holy Spirit at that moment. Okay. It says, And she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And when is the when why is the granted to me that the mother of my ruler should come to me? And behold, as soon as the sound of your um greeting came into my ears, the babe is in my womb leap for joy. <laughs> and blessed is she who believes. For well, there will be a fulfillment of what Yahweh had promised her. Yeah. And Mary will say, My soul magnify Yahweh. Blessed be the Yahweh. And my spirit rejoice in Yahweh my Savior. For he has has um he has granted Ricard. Ricard. Ricard, yes, Ricard. Um, uh, <coughs> Get out there. Regard, regard, regard yeah. for me, for the human state of his hand made. For behold, from now on, of all generations will call me as blessed. Now, blessed, yes. But we're not allowed to pray to Miriam, mm -mm. right? With the word called Maria. That is, uh-uh. 
But yeah, we say she's a blessed person mm -hmm. because she was so good that Yahweh chose her. But to pray to her in the mm -hmm. days of no no. And yes, we remember her to this day, all these generations later. For she is great for you for for she has she is great in the sense that she was a pure enough woman to bring them our savior. For he who is mighty has done great things for me and and holy is his name. What is his name? Yahweh. And his mercy is on those who revere him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and he has stretched, scattered the proud and the, and the imagination of their mind. He has put down my the might from their throne and exalt those of low degree. So in other words, he has taken those who think they're all bad in a bad shape and brought them down and he's taken the low people that are not on top of society and built them up. That that is a fact. And that has happened throughout history and it will continue. It doesn't matter what is your status. If you're rich and you're doing the right job for Yahweh, you are blessed, and you will always be blessed. If you're poor, or uh, and you don't have much, but if you're doing the best for Yahweh, for the kingdom of Yahweh, you're going to be blessed, and you're going to receive a lot. Just the way it is. Now, I'm going to go to the to the animal book. Then we're gonna go. I'm gonna find the book and then I'm gonna show you where it's at. It's a book. It's called. I haven't read it for a while. We're gonna do. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about the other books that are in there. Okay. But one of the books. What is it called? I'll let you know right now. But one of the books is called The Lost Books of the Scripture. It says Bible, but I don't use that term. Uh, I want to show you the. It looks like this. Just go to a library and get help to find it. This one, babe? I don't know. Yes, sister. Brother, is it this one? Yes, sister. This one? Yes, sister. Go to the Gospel okay. of the Na uh, Na Nathrene of Mary. Once you get there. Is it down low, low sample or? No, you should have both. Let's see. Why do you have that in there? That's not it. Sorry. Not it looks like it. Press library. Always press library. So you could be in your area. Mm There it is. There you go. 
This is the book. It's called, um, this book, I've read it before, and this book seemed like um, it was written by uh, um, the father of the Joaquin. 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 All right. This now that name, Joaquin, is actually he who Yahweh has set up in Hebrew. So it will be Yahweh, Joaquin. It will be spelled with a Y. Right. Y A H O A A Q I N Waakin. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, sister. That's uh. I mean, these don't have verses per no, se. No, I have numbers. There's no numbers in here. But uh, if you read it, I'm gonna explain. Okay. Here we go. This is the the story. Of Marians, do not use the name Mary because you don't see it there. Um, we'll call her Miriam instead of right, Mary. Right, right. And this is a story that I felt when I read it, it was connected to the original Matthew, and somehow it got eliminated. Remember, Catholic Church wanted to like. They don't even tell you that she had brothers. They sure had brothers and sisters. You know, because they got to remember, Mary the Virgin. You have to pray to Mary the Virgin. You know what I mean? And so they make sure it was separated. It got separated. And to me, I don't know. It just sounds like, blessed and glorious. All right, go ahead. See how, look away how it starts out. Blessed and glory for our, uh, what? Glorious. Virgin Mary. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a Catholic thing. Now they've separated it. But, uh, not a, you know, the Catholics were like, we use that term. But anyway, there was something happened there. All right, go ahead. Um, that's, that's it. Well, Gospel uh, of a Nativity, Nativity of Mary. Of Mary. The blessed and glorious ever virgin Miriam sprung from the royal stock and family of David. Born in the city of Nazareth, was brought up in Jerusalem in the temple of the, of the Father. Of, of Yahweh. Of the Father, Yahweh. Yeah, it, will, you, it better be if you say just house of Yahweh. Your your um Jerusalem and the temple of the Father. The house of Yahweh. House of Yahweh. Oh my goodness. Yes. No. Uh, her father was named Joachim. Joachim. Yeah, Joachim. Yeah. And her father. No, that's incorrect. Joachim. Joaquin. Joaquin. Oh, Joaquin. I don't it know. It don't spell like that, right? It don't spell like it, yeah. Yeah, Joaquin. Okay. Joaquin. Joaquin. Okay. Go ahead. Anyway. And her mother, Anna. Anna. Her father's name was, her father's house was from Galilee in the city of Nazareth. And her mother's family was Bethlehem. The life uh, the life was 
guideline guide guide lens. Everybody's and innocent. right, huh? Yeah. Everybody's pretty much was guiltless. Mm -hmm. They're okay. innocent. So mine was um guide guideless. And right before the yeah, before, right before Yahweh, the father, before Yahweh, uh, before Yahweh, and irreproachable and pious, so before men, for they, um, for they divide all their substance into three parts one part uh, they spent upon. The temple and the temple servants, and another, um, they dis distributed to to um to strangers and the poor. The third they they reserved for themselves and the necessity for the necessity of their family thus dear to yeah so you understand they give, give, give away one third to the congregation one third to the poor and one third for to live on mm -hmm. thus um dear to the father dear to so, yahweh dear to yahweh kind to men for about 20 years they lived in their um, own house, a chest, merry life, with, uh, without having any children. Um, nevertheless, they vowed that um, should the, Yahweh. to the Father. Should Yahweh. Should Yahweh. Whenever you see the word the, you know what, you just cut up the. Okay. And just say Yahweh. All right. And Yahweh happens to give them offspring. They will they will deliver it to the service of the Father. To the service of Yahweh. To the service of Yahweh and cut up da. Okay. I tell you always cut up da. Okay. So in other words, what they were doing there was if they were to be blessed enough to have a baby. They would take that baby and give it in the service of Yahweh. Turn it in to the congregation of Yahweh, the house of Yahweh. <coughs> All right. Go ahead, sister. Okay, brother. Now, which account also they used to visit the temple of Yahweh. The Father. Yeah, Yahweh. 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 Yahweh at each of the feasts during the year and it came to pass that the festival of the dedication that festival of dedication uh -huh. was at hand that means hanukkah festival of dedication means hanukkah so they went to the festival of hanukkah go ahead was a hand were for also, what's his name again? Just say Yahweh, whatever you see there. Joachim. Okay. Joachim. Was a hand. Joachim. 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 Joachim went, went out to Jer um, Jerusalem with some men of his <coughs> own tribe. Now at the, bless you, now at the time Ishar, Ishar, was high priest there and when he saw um joaquin with his with his offerings among his father's fellowship um citizen he de despised him and and spurned his gifts Asking why he who has who had no offspring pre presumed to to um, stand among those who had seen uh, would not 
by any means be the acceptable Father, since he had um, deemed, he had deemed him unworthy of offspring. For the scripture says, Curses everyone who has not begot a male or a female in Israel. He said offspring that he ought first to be forced from the curse by the begetting of children and then then only that he should um, come into the presence of the father okay do you understand because he had no offspring they were making fun of him about that whole situation why is he there he shouldn't even be there because he doesn't have any offspring apparently they did and you know they were like a curse is he who doesn't bring any children okay. into the world um so sorry people i just keep on i got sick yesterday in the night time From his uh, reproach that was uh, that was thrown in his teeth, be tied with the shepherds who were in their pastures with his flock or the flocks. Nor will he return home. Then, um, perchance he might be um, branded with the same reproach by those um, of his own tribe who were there at the time and had heard from the priests. Now, when he had been um, there for some time, on a certain day when he was alone, an angel of the Father, the Malak of Yahweh, of the Malak of Yahweh, sorry, let me find you where you're at. Still. Now when he had been there for some time. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Malak of Yahweh. Malak of Yahweh stood by him in a great light. And he was disturbed at his appearance. The father. The Malak. The Malak of Yahweh who had. The Malak had. Yeah, wait, who had appeared to him. Restrained his fear, saying, Fear not, um, Joaquin, Joaquin for he, nor be disturbed by any um, appearance. For I am the Malak of the of Father, Yahweh. Of Yahweh. I keep saying to you the same Sen thing. I know, okay, does I forget? Um, okay. Not by him, for their their deed to tell that the prayers have been heard, and that thy um, charitable um, deeds have gone in, up into his um, presence. Okay, here is the Malak of Yahweh telling him. His prayers are being heard, and his charitable, in other words, him helping people, have been, have gone up to the presence of Yahweh. Yahweh sees that. Mm -hmm. So if you have money, always remember to give. Don't be so selfish with that money. Give, give some of that money away. Or find a charity or homeless, whenever you see, try to give as much as you can. Make a budget to give away so much money every month. Very important because Yahweh sees that, and we're supposed to be helping those who don't who can't help themselves. Doesn't matter what to do with the money. 
That's not our business. Our business is to do is according to the scripture. And here, his cherubim deeds have been seen by Yahweh. So don't do it because of Yahweh. Do it because that's what Yahweh requires you to do. Okay? It comes from the heart. Right. Mm -hmm. And do it. Even if your heart tells you don't do it, do it. Because the heart can be deceiving too. Okay? Just do it. You don't have to give them a hundred dollars. Just give them Give whatever five, you can. You can give them a hundred? Go ahead. Give them three. Whatever. Give them some, whatever, two people. Whatever yeah. you, whatever yeah. y'all puts in your heart, do it. That's it. Because if you're up here, you will be down here. That's like right. Down. Don't, um. Don't, do not say stuff like, you know, oh my God. He's going to use that for drugs. He's going to I think drugs. Jackie Gleason said, uh. Uh, the same people you see on the way up, the same people you're going to see on the way down. So do the right thing, mm -hmm. and that way you don't see the people on, the, on your way down, because you're going to stay up. Okay? All right, go ahead. Share with these, and it's um, okay. into his presence. For he has wait, 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 wait. soon... See? He who had no offspring presumed to stand among those who had, um, saying that his gifts could not, could not by any means be acceptable to Yah. No, you're, you're in the wrong place. You go, you go, you gotta be all the way, for he has, you have moved up, for he has, he has heard thy terrible deeds and has gone up into his presence for his for he has seen the shameful and how her of the reproach of unfaithfulness which has been unjust to against those for Yahweh is the venture of sin and not of nature. Are you there? And therefore when he shall a wound for any of them for of anyone he does so that he may may miraculously open it again so that which is born may be acknowledged not to be of love but the gift of Yahweh. Are you there? Okay. You know where I'm at? Well it was not the case that the first mother of your nation, Sarah, was buried up to her 80 year. Nevertheless, in extreme old age, she brought for Isaac, to whom the promise was renewed of the blessing of all nations. Rachel also so favor of Yahweh and so beloved by Yah, by Yah, by the holy Yaakov, Yaakov was long barren and yet she there for Joseph who was not only uh, in this case we must say master of the Egyptians but he delivered but the deliverance of many nations who were ready to perish of hunger who among the judge was neither strong than Stronger than Samson or more holy than Samuel, and yet the mother of both were barren. And therefore, the re re relief, re ah. reasonableness. Reasonableness. There you go. All right, of um, my word does not per pursue the believe the fact that the, um, the pregnancy is very late in life, in birth, and the case of women that have been buried are usually, as they indicated, attempt, but sometimes wondering, wonderful, according to thy wife. Anna will bring forth a daughter to me, to you, and those shall call her name Miriam. 
it shall be ye a vow have thou consented to the to Yahweh for her infinity and she shall be filled with the Holy Spirit. Look at that. Mary was full with the Holy Spirit even from her mother's womb. She shall neither eat, drink any unclean thing, neither she shall spend she should spend her life among the crowds of people without but in the and the congregation of Yahweh, the house of Yahweh, that it may not be possible either to say or so much as the suspect of any evil concerning her. Therefore, when she had grown up just as she herself shall be magnificent, uh, magnificently born of a bare woman. So in in incomparable manner, she, a virgin, shall bring forth the son of the Most High. This was already predicted. Uh -huh. It was already predicted. You see where I'm at? Is it the third page? Uh, it could be. Let me see. Uh, depending on how thick the thing is. Is the third page or the second? I'm on the second. Look for paragraph. No, I'm on like on the fourth. Okay. Page. Let me see where you're at. Okay, this one. I don't have no numbers. It's hard. Oh. Well, you need to make it a little bigger. Seven. Yeah, you're on seven. Here's a real small one. You. All right, read on. She should be, as you have vowed, consecrated to the to the Father from her fancy, infancy, and she should be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from her mother's womb. She should neither nor drink any unclean thing, nor should she spend her life among the crowds of, of the people uh, without but in the temple of the father that it may not be so impossible either to say or too much so much as as to suspect any evil concerning her therefore when she has grown up just as she herself Shall um, be miraculously born of a of a um, barren woman. So in an impossible manner, she she a virgin shall bring forth the son of the Most High. Who shall be called Jesus, Yeshua? Yeshua, and who according to the um, etymology of his name 
should be the savior of the all nations and this should be the sign to thee of those things it should be uh, Yahweh is salvation mm -hmm. okay should, uh, should come to the golden gate in Jerusalem those should there me and um, thy wife who lately anxious from the delay of the of thy uh, return would from the delay of the return will then rejoice at the at the sister at the sight of thee having um, thus um, spoken the angel the Malak the Malak departed from him why do you say Malak is not an angel Wait. because the angel is a pagan word it has E-L in the end Oh, okay. That's not the that's not the correct word. It's messenger. You want to say the malak? No. Say messenger. No, okay. Not angel. Thereafter, he appeared to Anna, his wife, saying, "Fear not, Anna, nor think that is a phantom, which thou um seest, for I for I am that malak who have been." Presented your prayers and alms before Yahweh. Yahweh. And now I have I been sent to you to announce to you that thou shall not bring forth a daughter who shall be called Mary and who shall be blessed above all women. She, she full of the favor. Of the, of the father even from her birth shall remain three years in her father's house until she um, be weaned be, be weaned therefore being delivered to the service of the father she shall not depart from the temple until she reached the years of the um discretion discretion there in there in fine serving Yah Yahweh Yahweh hold on serving Yah or serving the Father Yahweh, Yahweh serving Yahweh day and night in fasting and prayers she shall abstain from her from every unclean thing she should never know man but alone without um example immaculate um uncorrect corrupted corrupted okay. without without inter intercourse with a man she's a virgin should bring forth a son she his handmaiden shall bring forth the the Lord. The bring Father. back the bring forth the Savior. The Savior, both in grace and in name and in work, and the Savior of the world. Therefore, wherefore arise and go up to Jerusalem and. When thou shalt come to the great um, to the gate, which because it is planted with gold, plated. Oh, it is plated. <laughs> it is plated with gold. It's called golden. There for a sign, thou shalt meet thy husband, for whosoever safety thou, um. It has been anxious. She was, she was like worried about him that something happened. Mm -hmm. And when these things should have no hap so happened, now that I I announce should without doubt be fulfilled. Uh, therefore, the Malak had commanded both of them set on setting out from the place where they were. They went up to Jerusalem, 
And when they had come to the place pointed out by the Malak prophecy there, they met each other, they rejoiced and see each other and secure in the certain in the certainty of the promise. Osprey they gave the thanks due to Yahweh who exalted the humble and also having worshipped Yahweh they returned home and awaited in certain and gladness the divine promise and therefore conceived and brought forth a daughter according to the command man, command of the Malak her parents called her Miriam and when the circle of three years had rolled around and the time of her weaning was fulfilled they brought the virgin to the house of Yahweh with offering so she was three years old when she was sent over there wait <coughs> so she was three years old when she was sent over them after she got weaned out mm -hmm. uh, to fulfill what they had brought a virgin to the house of Yahweh with offering. Therefore, now there were around the uh, congregation house, according to the 15th Psalm of Degree, 15 steps going up for on the account of the house had been built on a mountain. The altar of burnt offering which stood outside could not be reached except by steps. On um, one of these, then her parents presented the lifted, the lifted the girl and blessed, blessed, and Miriam, blessed Virgin Miriam. And when they put off the clothes, they had were have were on the journey and were putting on as usually other that were neat neater neater and cleaner the virgin of Yahweh went up the step one after the other and without the help of any one leading her uh, lifting her up uh, lifting her in such a manner that in this respect at least you would think that she had already attained attained full age for already the for already Yahweh and the infants of her virginity raw a great thing and by indication of this miracle foreshadow how great she was to be. Therefore, sacrificing had been offered according to the custom of the law, and vow had been performed that they left the virgin with the uh, enclosure. enclosure of the house. And the um, temple. The house, oh. there be house of Yahweh, there be educated with the other virgins and themselves returning home. But virgin of Yahweh advanced in years, virtual and thought in the words of uh, Baisi? The psalmist. 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 Never even seen that word in my life. Samus, her father and her mother have forsaken her. For Yahweh took her up. For daily was she visited by Malak. I knew something was going by the Malak. Daily she rejoiced the divine visions. I knew it. Which presented, which preserved her 
from all evil and made her to abound all of good, all in all good. And she reached her 14 year, and not only were the wicked unable to change her with anything worthy of reproach, but all the good who knew her knew her life and come um, converted and judged her to be worthy of a mission. Then the high priest publicly announced that the virgin who was publicly uh, publicly sent in the house of Yahweh and have reached that this time of life she'll return home and get married according to the customs of the nations of repo repeat the let's see that Rightness. 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 Mm -hmm. Rightness. That's like old, old English. Rightness of of their year. And the others ready obey this command. But, Mar but Miriam alone. Miriam alone. The virgin of Yahweh answered that she could not do this, saying, both to her parents and devoted her to the service of Yahweh, and that moreover she herself had made to Yahweh a vow of virginity, which she would never violate by any intercourse with men. And she and the high priest being placed in great uh, complex of mind, Seeing that neither she did he think that the vow should be broken, contrary to the scripture, she said, "Vow and pray, and pay." Neither did the, he dare to uh, introduce a custom unknown to the nation. Give order that that at the feast which was at hand. All the chief persons from Jerusalem and neighbors should be presented in order from that their advice mm -hmm. he might know what was to be done and so doubtfully a case when this took place they resulted an un announcement that Yahweh should be consulted upon this matter. All right, go ahead. So, do you know where I'm at? And the next question should be, and when they all bow down wait, wait. themselves in prayers. It says, and the high priest being placed in great perplexity. Is it? Go ahead, keep up on that. Okay, in mind, seeing that neither did he think that the vow should be broken, um, contrary to the scripture, which says, vow and pay, nor did he there um, to introduce a custom unknown to the nation, Give, gave order that all the festivals should, well, which it was I am, and the chief per persons from Jerusalem, and the neighborhood should be present in order that from their um, advice he might know that what was to be done in so doubtful a case. And when, his, when his, his, this took place, this resolved um, unanimously that the that the father should be consulted upon this matter, and when they all um bow themselves in prayer, the the high priest went to consult father in the usual way, for nor had they um, longed 
to wait. In the hearing of all and all voice, a voice is issued from the oracle. And from the mercy seat. That, uh, according to the prophecy of, of Isaiah, a man should be um, sought out to whom the virgin um, ought to be entrusted and responded. For it is clear that Isaiah says, a rod should come forth from the roots of Jesse, and a flower shall ascend uh, from his roots. And the Spirit, Spirit of, of the Father of Yahweh, Yahweh um, shall rest upon him. And the Spirit of um, Spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and strength the spirit of wisdom and pity and he should be filled with the spirit of the fear of the father of yahweh yahweh according to his according to this prophecy wait, 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 hold on, hold on. The spirit of the fear of the Father. Okay. According to the prophecy, therefore, he predicted that all the house of and family of David that were unmarried and fit for married marriage, she should bring forth rods to the altar. And that he was he was wrath um after it was um brought should produce a flower and upon the end of whose rod the spirit of the father spirit of Yahweh not the not take the, the, the take it spirit. out of there okay. spirit of father of yeah. Yahweh, Yahweh, the spirit Yahweh. Of Yahweh okay um should settle in the form of a dove was a man to whom the virgin ought to be Entrusted and expounded. Now there was there was among the rest Joseph of the house, family of David, a man of great age. Let me do it. Now there was right. among the rest Joseph, Yasser mm -hmm. of the house and the family of David. I told you it had to be from King David's bloodline. Yeah. A man of great age, so he was older, and whom all brought their rods, according to the order he alone withdrew his, with their, wherefore, when nothing is comfort with the divine voice appear in a high priest, through it necessary to consult Yahweh a second time, and he answered that those who have been designed that have been designed it he alone to whom the virgin ought to be uh espoused in order to be his wife had not brought the rod joseph therefore was found out for when he had brought his rod and the dove came on uh, came from heaven and settled upon the top of it. It clear appears to all that it, he was the man to whom the virgin should be um, exposed. Spouses. Therefore, the unusual ceremony of bestowal, having been gone through, he went back to the city of Bethlehem to put his house in order. And to pronounce, to, pr to proceed things necessary for the marriage. But, Mar but Miriam, the virgin of Yahweh, with several other virgins of her age, and who have been weaned at the same time, were weak, uh, whom she has received from. 
the priest returned to the house of her parents. And in those days, at the time of her first coming into Galilee, the Malach Gabriel was sent by Yahweh to announce to her the, um, the concept, the pregnancy of Yahweh, and to explain to her the manner and the order, the pregnancy or the concept. Oh, let's see that. Conception. Conception, according to, accordingly, going in the fill the chambers where was with a great light and most courteous salute her. He said, Hail, Mar Hail Miriam, O virgin, highly favored by Yahweh, virgin full of grace. Yahweh is with thee. Blessed art thou above all women. Blessed are all men that have been hit, born in the virgin who was already well acquainted with, with angelic, like things from angelic. the Lord, angelic mm -hmm. things was not unusual to the light. From heaven and was neither terrified by the vision of the Malak, neither astonished at the great of the light, but only perplexed by the words, and she being to consider of what nature of salute so unusual could be, or what could this could uh, per, uh, pronounce, produce. Oh, Definitely. No, or what end could be had in the Malak of Yahweh, the Malak, divided his fire, talk, taking up this thought, saying, Fear not, Miriam, if anything contrary to thy charity were hidden under this situation, for it is chosen charity thou hast favor with Yahweh and therefore thou a virgin shall conceive but thou said and shall bring forth a son all right brother you know where I'm at yeah and he uh, should be great because he should rule from sea to sea and from the river even to the ends of the earth and he should be called the son of the most high because he who was born on earth in humiliation reigns in um, in heavens and exaltations and the father will give him the throne of his father David and he should reign in the house of Jacob forever and of his um, kingdom there should be no end for uh, for as much as he is the king of uh, king the father of the fathers and his uh, throne from everlasting to everlasting the virgin should not doubt um, their words of the angel and um her wish to whom to know the manner of it she discovered she answered how can that come to pass for a while according to my vows i never know a man how can i bring forth through all the addition of the man seed. Where this is the angel says, Malak. Oh, Malak. Oh, you did not. Hey. Shut up. <laughs> then, okay. Says, think not, Mary, that. Um, Miriam. Oh, yes. Okay. 
Miriam, Miriam, that thou shalt conceive in the manner of the mankind. For without any intercourse with a man, though a virgin will conceive, thou a virgin will bring forth, thou a virgin um, will nurse, for the Holy Spirit shall come upon thee. And the power of the Most High shall overshadow um, on thee. Um, without any of the heat of lust, and therefore the the which the which shall be born of these shall be alone. Be holy because it is alone. Um, being conceived and born with all sin shall be called the son of Yah, Father. Then Mary, uh, Miriam, scratch, um, screeched, stretched forth her hands and um, raised her eyes to heaven and said, Behold, the handmaiden of the, uh, of the Father, for I am not worthy of the name of, of the lady, of lady. Let it be to me according to the word. It will be long and perhaps to some um, even tedious if we insert in his, in this little work, everything should be, um, Read, read of as having um, preceded or followed the Lord, the Father's um, nativity. Wherefore, um, omitting those things uh, which has been more fully. Uh, Re, uh, written in the gospel, let it come to um, those which are uh, which are held um, be being a pious man to endure to uh, to endure her fair fame by uh, by. A suspicious of fornication, he came to to the conclusion there therefore privately to dissolve their contrast and to send her away secretly and while he thought on these things, behold and in the Malak of the Father Yahweh. Um, according to the to him in his um, sleep saying Joseph though son of Yah David fear not that it that is do not have any suspicion of fornication in the virgin or think any evil of her and fear not to take her as his wife for the for which is begotten in her and which is now vexes they soul is the work not work not a man but of the holy spirit for she alone all the virgins shall bring forth the son of Yah, the father, and uh, thou shalt be, shall call his name Yahshua, that is se severe. Salvation of Yah, I mean, salva Yahweh's salvation. Mm -hmm. For he should give his name from your sins. Therefore, um, Joseph, according to the
the command of the angel Malak took the the virgin as his wife. Nevertheless, he knew her not, but took care of her and kept her in chastity. And now the nine months from her conception was a hand when when um, Joseph taking with him his wife along with that thing with things he um he needed uh, when the Bethlehem the city from which he became he came and it came to pass while they were still there that um their days were fulfilled at the at that she should bring forth and she she brought forth her firstborn son and as the holy uh evangelist um had shown our our um father yeshua who with the father and our the father son. yeshua it says jesus christ so it, how can it be where is that at on the end the middle of the end and that says okay she brought for her firstborn son the holy evangelist has shown our Master Yeshua Messiah. Okay, that Master Yeshua Messiah, who with the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost lives and brings Father from everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah! Raise, raise Yahweh from everlasting to everlasting. Yeah, Yahweh. Now that is the story of. Too many words. <laughs> That is the story of Miriam, how she got started. Her family, her mother could not have babies. Yeah. So, yeah. That's the main thing about that one. So, there is a story. There, it's called the Nat Nazarene of Mary. Of Mary. Miriam is the proper name. But um, it has... Um, the whole story uh, of this, but you know, they they made sure they took this out. This is to be rewritten uh, again. It'd be good to rewrite that <laughs> with the clean words. You know what I mean? Yeah. Miriam, Yeshua, Yahweh, Malak. They should always put like the real name instead of the yeah. fake names. You know. That's correct. So, um, that was good. We were able to read that. So we're gonna go back to Luke. <laughs> I don't know yeah. Forgive me, people. I'm sick. I'm sick. I need prayers. Please pray for your brother. Uh, His mercy on those who revere him from generation to generation. This is um, okay, Luke one chapter number. One, what verse number. 50. Huh? Verse 50. And I understand why they put the verses on there. It's really a lot easier. He has shown strength with his arm. He has stretched the prow. I read that part. 
Um, the imagination. He has filled the hungry with righteous things, but the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped the servant Israel in remembering of his mercy. He has spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. And Mary remained with, with her about three months. And Mary was there until she was six months old, six months pregnant. Mm -hmm. No, not even three months. And then returned to her home. The birth of Yashana, the immerser. Now the due date came that Elizabeth should deliver and give birth to a son and her neighbor and her cousin, her uh, Yahweh had shown great mercy upon her and they rejoiced with her. Circumcision of and naming of Yashana. Then on the eighth day they came to the circumcision of the child and they would have called him Zachariah after the name of me. Somebody must have been really sick when you went to the store or something. Uh, this was from before probably. <laughs> Uh, but the mother answered and said, No, he will be called Yashanon. They, they said to her, There is none in your family is called by this, by this name. So they made a sign to his towards his father how he will be called. And he requested a writing tablet. Like they had tablets in those days. <laughs> where at? Where at? <laughs> 63. But it was a tablet. It was like a. Uh, <laughs> that tablet. It was like a stone thing and they were right on it. Yeah. Uh, and he said, wrote saying, his name is Yashana. And they all marveled. Zachariah's mouth is loose and he prophesied. And then his mouth was immediately open and his tongue loose and spoke and praising Yahweh. Glory to Yahweh. And fear came to Are we going to bring that four? 65, no. No. What? Are we going to bring that four? No, a little past four because we started after, after two. Oh. Yeah, we're going to do it. Two hours, two hours or more, according. Here we have one hour and 48 minutes. So, 12 more minutes. Okay, you want to play again? How much? Two more minutes? 12. Play again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get this rock, let's get this rolling. Uh, open his tongue and loose it. And fear came upon all those around them, and all say were discussed throughout all the hill country of Yada. And all those who heard them throughout about them said, What kind of child would this be? And the hand of Yahweh was with him. And now his father Zechariah was filled with the spirit of Yahweh and prophesied, saying, Blessed be Yahweh, Father of Israel, for he has looked upon and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us, the house of his servant David. David. Because she was connected, remember, mm -hmm. Elizabeth was also of the house of David, of the bloodline of King David. Miriam, her cousin, mm -hmm. was from the house of David. 
the bloodline of King David. So naturally it would be, it would, uh, the guy that's going to present, introduce Yeshua to the world, mm -hmm. which was Yashana, mm -hmm. would be from the house of David. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then Yahweh and then Yeshua being from the house of David also. Was, uh, he could only be from the house of David. He could mm -hmm. not be from any other house. Right. Because in that, it would not be legitimate. It couldn't happen. Mm -hmm. Yahweh would not sponsor. Yahweh would not say, from your bloodline or from your body, according to the scripture, the Messiah will come and then say, okay, we're going to get it from the bloodline of um, Benjamin or the bloodline of this or bloodline of that. No, it had to come from King David. That was it. There was no exception to the rule. And even the one that was going to announce the, the uh, of Yeshua's coming and presence and the whole thing had to be also be from the house of David. That's very important. Yahweh knows what he's doing and he and he everything he put it out there for us, but we have to look and we have to pray for a wisdom about it. Mm -hmm. And and he said, as he spoke throughout my uh, his one of his prophecy of the age, we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he vowed to our father Abraham. Why father Abraham? Because father Abraham was the one that Yahweh got out of the pagans and born to Israel, right? Um, and to grant us to be delivered from the hands of our enemies that we might serve him without fear, hallelujah, his holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And her, your child will be called the prophet of Yahweh, for you will go before the face of Yahweh to prepare his way, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by redeeming of their sins. Throughout, though the tender mercy of our Father, by which the light from which high up, from on high was visited us, to give light to those who sit in darkness and to the shadow of the dead, to guide our feet into the ways of peace. And the child grew and became strong in spirit and was in the wilderness until the day of the magnificent, magnified to Israel. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Beautiful words. He got. He got the spirit of Yahweh, so he was prophesying all these things mm -hmm. that they were going to happen, and they happened um, before him. Mm -hmm. So, what that tells us is that these people were blessed among all people. For bringing back, for bringing Yashana to the world to be part of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And it was very important that everything was done in an orderly manner. So that was very important. So it's like Yahweh has a plan. The plan has to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It cannot go A, Z. No, it has to go accordingly. According. Yeah. yeah, to his plan. The first plan was have Elizabeth be pregnant. She was very old. Mm -hmm. But she and her husband were very good. And they were a servant of Yahweh. And that's why 
blood. She was from the bloodline of King David. See? It's like, okay, this is perfect. All the dots are right on. Okay. She will be the one. He will be the one. And so from that bloodline, King David's bloodline, they produce the messenger. The one they will come out of the wilderness to announce the um, um, the birth of Yah Yeshua, to announce that Yeshua was here. Yes. That was yes, and to say, and he was baptizing, uh, redeeming of sins. He he did everything accordingly what he said, and and as such, Yahweh put him first because. He had to do his part. Mm -hmm. His part was to be done first. And then when this lady was about six months old, Miriam got, she was conceived. So there were, he was six months older than Yeshua mm -hmm. because he had to come out first. Mm -hmm. Remember? He was out there baptizing, this and that, and then Yeshua came out, and then he even baptized Yeshua, mm -hmm. Yeshua, mm -hmm. right? And when the bat, when he got baptized, the heavens opened, this is my son who I am greatly joy or something like that, and the Holy Spirit of Yahweh, like a dove, came upon Yeshua at that moment. Mm -hmm. And you got to remember, even when you hear the story, of, of him, Yashana, the Gabriel said he would have the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Yahweh, even while he's in the stomach of his mother Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. So all of these things were, were done to prepare the way for the Savior, which is our Messiah, Yeshua, to bring salvation to the world. And when you see his name will be blessed all over the world, it is. His name is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now, is the correct name out there? It's going out there. Mm -hmm. It's getting out there. Yeah. And a lot of people are learning more now than ever before. Mm -hmm. And before the world could finish, the good news had to be preached to all the world before the world could finish. So every year, people got it, the world's going to finish, the world's going to finish, the world's going to No, does everybody know the word of Yahweh? Mm -hmm. No. There's millions of billions of people that don't. So until that don't happen, until uh, Yahweh doesn't bring the whole word to everybody in the world, the world cannot end. I mean, I believe what the scripture says, and that's what it says. Mm -hmm. So his planning... The planning of Yashana was a perfect planning, and his mother was very old. That's why uh, Zechariah said, "What? She like she's a granny? What? Mm -hmm. Can't no baby? Mm -hmm. Oh, you doubted me? Okay, now you can't talk for her until the baby is born." Mm -hmm. And that's what happened, right? He couldn't talk or anything like that. So we have to remember. Everything was done accordingly. I think that's the time. All right. I hope this service was as good for you as it was for us. We have to read the book of Miriam also, because I want you guys to have the full understanding. There were things left out from the books on purpose. So we don't get the whole picture. Mm -hmm. So as we learn, that Miriam also had the Holy Spirit from the time that she was a baby. And also had vision. Remember, I was saying that. Not knowing the fact, but how can that could not be? That she's not gonna be having visions, dreams. This is of the Malak, right? If she's a chosen child to bring forth the king, 
right? So I said these things without really knowing, but I know in my heart the way Yahweh operates, how he works. He gets you ready. And you're going to be strong when the time comes to do to bring forth whatever it is that he wants you to do. And it doesn't matter what it is. Everybody has a part in the kingdom of Yahweh. And when you read that other book that was taken out purposely, you understand, you get more of the full picture of this. Very important. Okay? So that's why we, as the people of Yahweh, have to trust in Yahweh. And... La, 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 we're on chapter two. Chapter two goes up to how many verses? Well, we're gonna read, we're gonna do that later, right? Yeah, before it's 12 o'clock. B, B, he, <laughs> all right, so this is the conclusion of our service. I hope um, you watch it over and over. Forgive me because I'm, I got my cold, whatever I have. And pray for me that I get better. And so whenever we, uh, we don't do service in the congregation, my plan was to go to the congregation, but I didn't want to go over there bringing diseases over there, and I didn't feel good. So, uh, it was meant for us to have service here. Yeah. And whatever Yahweh does, you know, if you, if you want me to have service, bring out these things, and it's going to be done. That's it. Don't worry. Don't think about it. I do miss going over there with my brothers, but we have to do Yahweh's will, right? So... Let's get up. Let's pray out of service. And we're going to thank Yahweh for this wonderful service. Thank you, Father Yahweh. Thank you, Father Yahweh. For opening our mind to your for understanding. For opening our minds to your understanding. Please help us to always be yours. Please to always be yours. Help us. Help us to always be yours. Thank you for uh, the word that we have read today. Thank you for the word that we've read today. Please uh, let everybody in the universe receive it, Father Yahweh. Please. Let everybody Let everybody you. receive yes, Father. Yahweh, you know we love you. We need you. We cannot Yahweh, live we without love you. you. We need you. We cannot live without you. Because you are great and you are good. Because you are good and you are great. And you are good. And we love you. We need you at all times. And we love you. We need you at all times. Father Yahweh. Father Yahweh. Please feed everybody in the universe. Please feed everybody in the universe. Please give them a home. Please give them a home. A place to stay. A place to stay. Money. Yeah, our money. money, business opportunity, business opportunity, and government help, and government help, and let everybody pay their bills on time, and let everybody pay their bills on time. Father Yahweh, Father Yahweh, please help all your children. Please help all your children to serve you, to serve you, to honor you, to honor you. And Father Yahweh, if it be your will, I would like to rewrite that book of the. Nazarene of Miriam. Yes, Father. With clean words. With clean words. Father Yahweh, give me the power, give me the strength and the wisdom. Give me the power and give me the strength for your and wisdom. And the wisdom to, to read to rewrite that correctly. To rewrite that correctly. According to your word. According to your word. With clean words, Father Yahweh. With Yahweh's. clean words, Father Yahweh. Let it be as you say, Father Yahweh. Let it be as you say, because Father Yahweh. Because we are your servant. For we are your servant. Please forgive us all our sins. Please forgive us all our sins. And have mercy. And have mercy. I beg you in Yeshua's mighty name. I beg you in Yeshua's mighty name. To hear our prayer. To hear our prayer. Hallelujah. Can we do the Our Father? Our, our Father, Father Yahweh, Yahweh, who is in heaven. heaven. 
holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and let us not fall into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. Hallelujah. The kingdom and the power and the glory and the honor is your Yahweh now and forever. Hallelujah. We love you, hallelujah. We love you, Yahweh. We love you, Yeshua. We love you, Holy Spirit, with all our hearts, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Uh, one of the sisters, one of my students, um, she always said, always say the Our Father. And I would do the Our Father, we would do the Our Father among Sunday to Thursday, and then we would to, we'd go to the congregation, Saturday, Sunday, and Friday, right there, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Yeah. And right there, we would not say it. But the sister put that in my mind. Mm -hmm. I always say to your father. So this is to the sister who always um, I mean, the, uh, put that in my mind. And I thank Yahweh for her because of that. I try to make sure you say that because, um, you know, Yeshua taught us this prayer, right? He taught us this prayer from, uh, from, from early on because the disciples asked him, uh, in, which, in which way should we pray? And he taught them the Our Father. But I always, I put, I always say, Our Father Yahweh. I just say that. Even for the kingdom and the power and the glory and the honor, it's yours, Yahweh. I put that there. I just have to put his name in everything. Because his name and Yeshua's mighty name is our world. My world. And, and I pray that it will be always your world too. Because without him, we are nothing. So, I thank Yahweh for everything that he has done and saving his people and have mercy on us and please Yahweh uh, help all of us to serve you and any bad dream that I had, I had a, kind of a bad dream last night it could have been the fever but anyway Yahweh please don't let any bad dreams come true we beg you in Yeshua's mighty name that these bad dreams don't come true Father Yahweh so now we're supposed to be saying the que Yahweh te bendiga te guarde, which means may Yahweh bless you, protect you, and be with you. May Yahweh's face shine upon you and give you peace or love or grace. May Yahweh have mercy or that prayer. We always say it in Spanish, but I'm just letting you know. Okay. All right. Right. We love you. We need. Oh. Okay, we love yeah. you. We, que Yahweh te bendiga, te guarde. Que Yahweh te bendiga, te guarde. Yahweh haga resplandecer. Yahweh haga resplandecer. Su rostro sobre ti. Su rostro sobre ti. Él de ti misericordia. Él de ti misericordia. Yahweh hace sobre ti su rostro. Yahweh hace sobre ti su rostro. Y ponga en ti paz. Ponga en ti paz. Bendito, Bendito sea Yahweh, creador de Israel, por toda la eternidad. Entonces, aleluya. Que Yahweh bless you all in Yeshua's mighty name. Aleluya.